it. So, um, well, here's how these things work, okay? Uh, as some of you guys are here, most of you guys are here, because you want to understand the, the world of pickup and seduction. Some of you guys are here because you want to get better at communication and business, and I'm pretty good at all those things. Uh, but before I get started, I have to now give uh, proper acknowledgement, because it's just the way that things have been going in my life, to all the people that have come before me, all the books that I've read, all the people that sat down and fucking published the goddamn book, thank God, you know what I mean? Because without them, I would not know this shit. I know for sure. So we have to give proper acknowledgement to everybody who came before, to now, and hopefully in the future, there'll be somebody who will help uh, as I'm helping or whoever else does, okay? I sound so fucking spiritual. Relax, dude. Be cooler. Okay. Fuck that shit, pussy, ass, gun, bitch. Okay. It's better. <laughs> it's kind of like some kind of fucking meditation retreat and shit. Okay, um... Here's what's happening. We talk about the art of the true alpha male, okay? And it's my job just for my own personal evolution, okay? As a human being, every day. To try to find more truth and get rid of more false in my life. Because when we suffer, we're suffering because we bought someone's bullshit. And I truly believe that, okay? Like they thought the world was flat. So they didn't go too far, they didn't want to fall over, that's bullshit, right? But then they found out it was round. Who knows? They were convinced it was flat, now they're convinced it's round. Maybe one day it'll be a fucking triangle. Who knows, right? But we do know that the way we view the world decides how we go about um, relating to it. So some of the ideas I'm going to give you right now are just some of the ideas that have been around recently for me and have really helped with my game and my businesses, and I'm sure you'll understand how it works, okay? So it goes like this. There's, in society, there is a prevalent thought these days that says you're not, okay, here it is, everyone's equal, everyone's equal, and these two go together, you're not supposed to judge people, that's like, it's almost like taboo, you know what I mean, I bought another shirt, this one says that's what she said, because I always say that shit, I bought another one that says I'm quietly judging you, I can't wait to wear that, I'm going to wear it tomorrow, um, you're not supposed to judge people and everyone is equal, okay, but let's get to the real matter, all right? So as I was teaching martial arts today, I turned to one of the girls, she's turning 18 in three months, and I said to her, you're about to turn 18 in three months. I said, remember what they tell you, everyone's equal, and don't judge. I said, so you're going to be in the world of grown men when you're 18, they're going to come after you, and some of them are going to have resources, money, in intellect, uh, socially aligned, they're going to protect their loved ones, that's one group of men, and there's going to be another group of men who are just fucking bum, scum, pervert assholes. I said, but it, for you, remember what they teach you. You're not to judge, and everyone is equal. Right? I said, do you see how pathetic and bullshit your life will be if you did that? The reality is, you are supposed to judge. You see? We're supposed to judge, and everyone is not equal. I am in no way equal to a criminal. I'm in no way equal to a piece of shit guy who sits around all day, smokes weed, and watches TV, and doesn't give anything back. Not that I don't smoke weed, I do. But not giving anything back is different. Okay? So, if you are going to be good at seduction and at pickup and at business, you have to gain back your ability to judge, okay, and recognize you are not equal to the next man as you walk into the club or you go into the bar. Because if you are, how could you get the girl? You see? But you got to get that out of your head because if I'm a, if I'm a girl, if I'm a, a hot girl, a 10, okay, 9 or a 10, the girl to get any guy, she's looking for a man in her life. Okay, she's looking for a real fucking man. And a real fucking man should have no problem saying, you know what? I make the decisions. I'm judging here. This is right, this is wrong. Honey, we're not going over there. That's a bad neighborhood. We're not driving there. We're going to go over here. Okay, we're going to eat this because if you eat that, you're going to get fat. And I don't like fat girls. Oh, you can't judge. I can judge. I can judge if I have to spend my time with a girl who's fat and nasty and doesn't take care of herself. Then a girl who's got the curves and the hair and the lips and the smell, oh fuck yeah, I'm gonna judge. Are you kidding me? I am gonna judge for sure. And I, I hope my fucking dad judged before he got with my mom. Because I'd hate to come out like, like what happened to your genetics? Well, fucking dad didn't judge. <laughs> he was just like, whatever's got pussy, I'm gonna hit it. That's okay. <laughs> stick it around, stick it out, buddy, stick it out. And fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. But I'm telling you this because somebody should have told me this, but they didn't. Okay? Because it makes more of a man out of a person to come out and say, what, what the fuck are you talking about? Don't judge. What do you mean don't fucking judge? What's your fucking problem? When I buy a car, I'm going to judge. 
When I buy shoes, I'm going to judge. And when I get with a girl, I'm going to judge. And when I pick a job and a career, I'm going to make a fucking judgment call. So where are you getting this thing of, we should not judge? We should not judge what? What? What should we not judge? Where's that idea coming from? We shouldn't judge the cops that are actually criminals. If there's a cop in here, you know you're a criminal. Okay? I don't know if you are, but you know you are if you are. Okay? We should not judge them. We should not judge the politicians because they're the ones destroying the world. Is that where it comes from? Because I know in my life I need to fucking judge. I need to make a judgment every second. I just ate some fucking Reese's peanut butter cups and a Twix and I went into the fucking uh, gas station and I put it up to the lady and I said, I said, I'm such a pig. She started laughing. I said, I haven't even grown up. I said, look, it's fucking 9.30 p.m. I'm here and I'm buying Reese's and Twix. Grow up, dude. And she goes, no, it's okay, it's okay. You know? She doesn't know I'm fucking with her, I'm fucking with her. Right? But the reality of it is I have to make a judgment. I'm about to put some nasty food in my body. I could have an apple and whatever salad, but I'm going to have some chocolate because I'm fucking craving chocolate. You have to judge. And you have to... Okay, now, why is these speeches important? I, I, I heard today this guy, he works at... Uh, well, I'm not going to say but... He's got a high-profile job. And he told one of my students that he's been watching all my videos, like, secretly. And he goes, you know, there's some, like, real powerful shit in those videos. And he goes, my wife, I was telling her to watch, she was like, I don't want to listen to that guy, he's a weirdo. Okay? He goes, but no, that's some really powerful stuff. I said, yeah, because you could take what I'm saying and you could literally be with a girl, hanging out, and say what I'm saying. You could teach her. You could say, you know what? Honey, baby, sweetie, cupcakes, peanut butter, whatever you want to call her. You say, look. <laughs> <laughs> peanut butter's cute. <laughs> uh, you, you say to her, listen, you have to learn to make judgment calls. You can tell her, you have some friends of yours that every time you hang out with them, you feel worse. Every time, okay? That's real to every girl. Like, they're nice to you and they're maybe pretty, but they judge you in a weird way. Uh, right? They're like, oh, you got a haircut? Oh, okay. Are you wearing that? Oh. Right? And every time you leave, you feel bad. And there's some people you hang out with that you feel very good after you hang out with them. Okay? So now I'm going to give you a piece of uh, a tech, which is... When you do that, you point to yourself, okay? That's self-anchoring. It's from hypnosis and NLP. So if I go, if I'm talking to somebody and I say, uh, you know, people that you hang out with and you feel really good with, right? There's some people that you know you feel really good with. And you go, oh, that's so obvious. He's pointing to himself. Yeah, it's obvious. So what? That's another thing. Who gives a shit? Should I have a problem making myself look good in front of people? Like, should that be like some secret thing? You know what I mean? Like, no. I want people to think highly of me and good of me. So I'm going to use everything I can in my life to make that shit happen without apologizing. Okay, simple. So yeah, I'm going to go like this. And she'll be like, you're pointing to yourself. She won't. But if she does, your worst fear that you go, <gasps> I got caught. <laughs> okay? That's everyone's worst fear, right? Not mine. You go, I am pointing to myself. you say, oh, well, that's why. What are you talking about? This is no one telling you, okay? When you hang out with some people and you feel great because you do with me, that's different than when you hang out with some people and point away from you and they make you feel like shit. And you tell her, you have to have the ability to judge. So you say, have you heard this bullshit of, you can't judge, you shouldn't judge, you should be no judgment. I don't, I don't judge people, I don't judge, is that cool? That's not fucking cool, that's the weirdest shit I've ever heard. Let's get rid of that garbage. I don't judge, well, you shouldn't really judge people, you don't know them. Hey, what I know of them, I better be able to judge. What am I supposed to fucking, every person I meet, sit down and get their whole fucking life story? <laughs> right? Okay, listen. Before I judge you, can you tell me all about you? Give me down. What the fuck? I don't have time for that shit. Based on these 10 seconds, you just made yourself look like a complete asshole douchebag, or you just made yourself look like a great guy. That's all I have is 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I don't know. Some people rub me the wrong way the first instant I see them. Right? Like, oh, that guy's a dick. How do you know? I don't know. He looks like a dick. Okay? He looks like a fucking dick. I should have the judgment call to do that. So, I'm telling you this because it should help you, and you don't need to apologize for it. You're just like, yes, you're here to make a judgment, and you teach your girl. You teach your girlfriend, wife, sister, girls you're dating, you tell them, and you say, hey, you know what's really cool? I heard this guy, he's really fantastic looking, he's incredible, he's got tattoos on his face, he's beautiful. He's, uh, she says, you're gay, you say, no, but if I was, I would be with him. Not, not funny to some people here, they're like, oh, that's gross. <laughs> Good, you're in the right place. Uh, you, you say, look, I, I, I realize that you have to make judgments in life, okay? You have to make judgments. In fact, she wants you to make a judgment call the next time you go buy some clothes. That's what she's thinking a lot of times. We have one of the services we have here is uh, style makeover, right? Style makeover. And she's thinking, if she's a 10, she's looking at the guy going, what the fuck is he wearing? Those shoes, that, I'm not pointing to, I'm pointing to the middle. 
Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is he wearing? She wishes you had a little bit of a judgment call in your in your senses, okay? So you can tell her that as a man, you've now recovered. It's like a video game to me. I've now recovered another level. Like, oh, what's that? I can now judge. Right? Prior to this level, I thought judging was wrong. Now, I'm going to judge, and it's okay. I'm the judge of my life, okay? Good. That means if I'm succeeding, I make good judgments. I have healthy emotions. Women are attracted to that. Okay? And you could show her. You could show her that some of her judgments re re resulted in really bad choices in her life. In example, her ex-boyfriend is still ruining her life. Okay? How do I know? Psychic. Okay? Her ex-boyfriend, she made some really fucked up choices. How long were you with your ex-boyfriend for? Three years? Fuck. Three fucking years? You wasted three years of your life with some asshole? Well, you know, I loved him. You loved him, you're done. A waste of your fucking time. I don't get into a relationship to be with them for three years and invest money, time, energy, love, affection so I can break up with them. Fuck that shit. Okay? This is the real deal. It's the same thing with students as a business, right? This is why it relates to business. If you have a customer, you're not going, well, I'm going to invest in that customer for a year. That fucking customer is for life. That's it. We have a lifetime fucking relationship. Simple. Okay? So you have to be able to judge and make judgments is one. Uh, what's the other one? Equal. Equality. Which is kind of related to each other. Equal. Okay? Everybody's equal. Listen, motherfucker. I am not equal to your fucking ex-boyfriend. Okay? In fact, that's why he's called your ex-boyfriend. If you ever forget and you think about talking to that asshole again, remember why you call him your ex. Because he fucked up somewhere. Okay? Or you fucked up. I don't know. That's why he's your fucking ex. I am the present and I am the future. Okay? Now, as I'm telling you this, these ideas, this is called inner game. Seductive instinct is what we teach, right? Inner game. If you start to have some of these thoughts that I'm t telling you right now, you're going to come across with a different level of presence. Okay? Different level of presence. Now, what I want for my students and the people that work for me is I want you to walk into a room and people feel it. Whoa. In order for that to happen, you have to have some very powerful beliefs. You can't believe that everyone's equal, because if I walk in here and everyone's equal, then why the fuck would you want to look at me? I know we're not equal. Does that mean I'm better than you? In this moment, when I'm teaching this, you are listening to me, and I'm distilling my knowledge. If you want to get into who's better or who's worse, I personally don't give a fuck. I know that right now, it's my time to speak. Simple. So everyone needs to pay attention now to me. Good, you have to know that shit. So when you walk into a club or a bar or dance, whatever the fuck you go to, why should people pay attention to you? Why should that hot girl dance with you or talk to you when she could have any guy?